Hello everyone, welcome to this webcast. My name is Ali Reza Zaidi. I'm Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operation Consultant. Recently, I explored the external item description feature for sales in Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operations. So, I decided to make this video to share with all of you. Uh, consider a scenario that you have a very different item name and description in your internal systems, while client or a customer have a very different item number and its description so how you can uh, incorporate that scenario for this dynamics 365 for finance and operation provide external item description feature uh, we can set this uh, external item description from uh, at item level as well as for on customer level for this you have to go uh, for item level you have to go on account for go on item uh, release items page uh, for this uh, let's see we have to uh, set external item on t triple zero one item and on a cell tab you find an external item description feature click on that here there are two options are available either you have to specify external item name for a specific customer or on a group so if we edit this and select group then from customer relation we can select some external group customer group uh, so number will be possible ex001 and description ex001 description it will be uh, anything Item text and save and similarly you can add it at customer uh, customer level for that you have to select a table and then select us triple zero customer for that we, if it's uh, external now item number will be ex triple zero two and description will, will be similar ex double zero two this description and external name will be this similar external item ex double zero two text and we can save this similarly this option is also available on a customer for example, for D E double zero one customer, we can uh, we can set the external item. For this, we have to go on a cell tab and then from setup and external item description. Similarly, like the uh, previous uh, screen, we have to select item and go to D one and set the system ex triple zero three and similarly ex triple zero three description ex triple zero three text Now we try the same item on a sale order. Let's see what will happen. Uh, so for this, uh, we have to create a new sale order. So the same customer on which we set the item description, external item description, and from site we have to select home speaker production side and then go for 13 side warehouse 13 for finish good and click ok to create sale order and select the same item on a seal line on a line detail you can see that the text is merged 
item original name and what we set in external item description and from general section uh, you can find the external item name right and uh, let's see we have to go and confirm and let's see what will be printed in a report and from confirm sale order dialog I have to select print confirmation and let's see what will be printed so you can see that uh, when our report is printed uh, it shows only external number and uh, this is come from external number description uh, and if we go to account receivable and then from setup and from general tab item informs and we can set yours and let's see what will be happened and when we save this and go back and run the confirmation report again you can see external uh, item number will be shown here and if we set it to both and save it you can see the original our internal item number will be printed here and external item which we define item number at the setup for a specific customer it will be printed here in a down that you external item number uh, at the sale line level suppose for example you have to add another line and we have to select some a4 and uh, if we go on its detail line detail at the journal external number is still editable you can set anything confirm and see its result so it is the quick walkthrough for external item number in dynamics 365 for finance and operation in a sale module see you in the next video